It's time for science! <laughs> Did you know that some children are taller than others? And also, some have severe acne. Also, some kids get angry easier than others. Jacob syndrome. Jacob syndrome. Jacob syndrome. Jacob syndrome. Jacob syndrome. <laughs> I am a boy. That means I can have Jacob Syndrome, but I don't. I'm a girl. I can't have Jacob Syndrome. This is a picture of what a normal male's sex chromosome looks like. When you have Jacob's, you have an extra Y chromosome. Now it looks me with Asher Stabler, MD. Hello. My name is Asher Stabler, science doctor. I'm here to talk to you about the syndrome of Jacob. One in 1,000 boys are born with Jacob syndrome, and half of them are in the United States. Immaturity, learning difficulties, chest pain, arthritis, Impaired joint mobility, joint stiffness, swollen joints, inflamed pericardium, candactyly. I'm also a doctor. Dr. Stabler. The first published case of a man with Jacob syndrome was Avery A. Sandberg. He was 44 years old, 6 feet, and had an average intelligence. This case was published in 1961. Jacob's syndrome is not inherited. It occurs as a random problem during the formation of sperm cells, during anaphase 2. This is called non-disjunction. Non-disjunction is the failure of sister chromatids to separate during meiosis 2. Non-disjunction can cause a sperm cell to end up with an extra Y chromosome, ultimately causing the child to have one X chromosome and two Y chromosomes. No one is even trying to find a cure for Jacob syndrome.